Here, we will look at a performance-based question from the A-plus Core 2 exams. Objective 1.5. Given a scenario, use Microsoft operating system features and tools. This is the scenario. Your customer was given a PC from his office to use at home. Three hard disks were added and initialized. The PC is configured for RAID 1 now. He is not satisfied with the hard disk read-write speed. He uses data-intensive applications for work that require optimal drive performance. He's most concerned about performance, and redundancy is unimportant. He wants the machine configured to provide maximum storage space and speed using up all the available drive space in the machine. Configure the drives to best suit the customer's needs. When you're finished, click Submit. To accomplish this, we will right-click the Start button and choose Disk Management to access the Disk Management Console. Here, you will see the first two disks are a RAID 1 mirrored set and the other drives are unallocated. Begin by right-clicking on Disk 1 and choosing Remove Mirror. Next, choose Disk 1 in the pop-up and click Remove Mirror. Confirm the action. In this case, the best speed and largest drive space is created using a RAID 0 striped volume across the available drives. Right-click Disk 1 and choose New Striped Volume. Click Next in the New Striped Volume wizard. You'll see the available disks and can add them to your volume using the Add button. Click Add for each available disk. When each free disk has been added, Click Next. We accept the default settings for the remainder of the wizard and click Finish. Click Yes to confirm the action. You can see that all the available disks have been added as a striped volume. An important note now is that just like on the actual examination, you must click Submit to record your response. Otherwise, your actions will not be graded and they will be lost. Be very aware of this fact on your A-plus exam. Now, click Submit to record your response. Your answer has been submitted. We'll scroll up to the top navigation bar and click the Answer button to review the submission. Here we can see your response is correct, and you can also review the steps that were taken in this exercise.